I'm at the Echo Basin Trailhead with Snowball and Mochi, and we're getting ready to hike up Echo Mountain. So we'll take the Echo Basin Trail about a mile up or so, and then from there we'll break trail, get onto the ridge, and hike the rest of the way up. Should be about a five mile hike, give or take. We're ready. You guys ready? I think they're ready. Let's go. Here's the trail sign. All right, let's go boys, come on. Go, go. Oh, this is gonna be a fun trail. I can tell already. It's pretty easy to see that this trail gets lots of water on it. There's like little creeks that people made to try to keep the water off the trail. You can see it, there's a cable, a thick cable running up the trail. Wonder what that's for. Here's where the cables end. They kind of wrap around some of these trees here. So I'm taking this for pulling stuff up to this point. Very thick vegetation through here. It has a really good smell. Up above us is the ridge we want to get onto. It's going to be fun. Some wilted uh, wildflowers. They have some dew on them, so I guess they're getting water from the air. These are some old growth cedars. Oh man, they are huge. Go over there, Snowball, go. See, Snowball's right against it. And they're massive trees. Gotta be careful on this little bridge. Oh, I thought I smelt something. That's skunk cabbage. Natives used to roll their food up in it and throw it on a fire to steam their food. Beautiful. Walking another one of those little bridges. It's a lot of mud. I guess this is like a like a spring because the water seems to be coming up from the ground. Holy overgrowth. Go. Oh yeah, another bridge. It's Echo Basin. We just ran into a trail runner. He's right there running down. Luckily, he pointed us over here to the trail. It's definitely a used trail. You could barely see it, but it's going to be enough to get up to the ridge and over to the summit. Feeling pretty jazzed right now that we are on it. Because for a second, I wasn't sure if we were going to have to cut through some bush. But nope, no cutting involved. It's an actual trail. This is the fun part going up this. It's steep. I just saw another guy over there. Uh, over here a little ways. Let's see if we could catch up to him. I really like this kind of used trail. One thing's for sure you weren't running to a lot of people up here. Here's a view of the basin down below us. That's pretty cool.
starting to get a little warm, so we're stopping in the shade every chance we get. Hey, buddy, you having fun? Yeah. Hey, Nutchie. We have made it up to the ridge. We're almost to North Peak. And yeah, it's pretty much smooth sailing from here. You can see a used trail going up the ridge. All right, we are reaching North Peak. We have reached the summit of North Peak. The boys are just right behind me in the shade. But yeah, here's the high point. This tree right behind me, so I'm gonna walk around and touch the top and then proceed on to the next peak. And here it is. If it had a survey marker, it would be here. Luckily for us, the back side of this ridge is shaded. Made it up to the back side of the ridge. The trail looks like it goes along here and then just up the spine. There'll be a little bit of route finding once we get to those trees, but so far we've only lost it once. And we had to kind of side skirt some stuff like this, which I don't really want to do today. Boys are getting hot. Come on, buddy, let's go. Let's go up the ridge. Let's look over this mountain. Let's look. Oh, man. Hey, little bird. That could be a big bird. Oh, cool. A little hawk. So awesome. Oh, man. We just got to continue up this ridge here. Almost Echo Peak. Up, up. Good boys. I think you've made it. I think we've made it. And we're here. Echo Peak in the bag. Echo Basin down right here below us on the left. It's really like a bowl. Mount Washington right there, Three Finger Jack. And through the smoke, you could barely see it, Jefferson. We're not going to see Hood today. Oh man, what an awesome climb this was. Good job, boys. Good job. Good boys. Hey, hey, you guys did really good. Good boys. We got a survey marker over here. Okay, let's see what's inside. in here a joint or something 
it's a registry of people who climb the mountain. I stopped doing this kind of stuff years ago. It's always not always easy to find it if there is one and just whatever. Stay. We are heading down the mountain. We've been hanging out in the shade for the past 20 minutes or so, trying to cool off and most of the way down is actually on one side of the ridge in the trees. And so we should be able to stay shaded uh, about 80% of the way down. Here we go. Let's go boys. Did not expect to see elk scat way up here, but here some is. It's like deer scat, but a bit bigger. Well, there's not a shortage of peaks over in this area, so I'll definitely be back to climb some of these guys behind us. Today we climbed two, but just from here alone, I could see seven or eight peaks that are around 5,000 foot elevation that are waiting for me, or us. Let's go, boys. This is a good shot going down this ridge. We actually have to go over on the left hand side. So up and down a little bit, but it's better we stay on the trail because we don't know what's below us. There's a lot of coyote scat up here. There's Echo Peak right there. And then over here on the other side of this knoll is going to be North Peak. High up on the mountain ridge, I found a bunch of huckleberries. That's what these are right here. They taste pretty good. Some beautiful wildflowers up here. Some thistle, some Indian paintbrush, daisies. We are dropping back down in the basin. It's slow moving because it's steep. And we're basically on like a dirt path that's overgrown with weeds. You can faintly see it in front of us. We have made it down to the main trail. So we're 90% down this hike. And we're ready because we're out of water, but there's a spring up here the boys could get a drink out of. We're tired of bushwhacking. We're down off the basin trail now and Echo Basin Trail, and man, it's so beautiful down here with the flowers and greens. There's like a lot of little creeks and springs through here. 